Okay, first one of the day stands out at me. It's a 71 Vega. I'm here with, what's your name, sir? Chris Collins. Chris Collins, he's from uh, North Carolina. Yep. Uh, he drove the center. Are you long hauling? No, no. I don't blame you. When, when, you, when you own a business, you can't do it so much. That's okay, that's okay. <laughs> uh, we were talking about the car because it caught my eye immediately. Uh, and I don't know what it is. I think it's probably the body style that catches my eye first. And we'll get around and we'll have a quick look at it. But you said you built your own frame for it. Yeah, built a full and frame for it. You said you weighed this car and it was how much again? 2868. 2868. How much? Uh, I noticed the power plant. Tell tell, tell me viewers about the power probably plant. Probably about 425 LS okay. with a, a six-speed. Okay. Uh, 411 nine inches. Okay, okay. So it's comfortable on the highway, but that's not where you built actually, it. Actually, it is. It that's actually not is. not what you built it no, for, is it? No, but it surprised me coming no. there. It's the first time we've done something like this. And you said you won uh, Monsters of... Uh, won the Mighty Muscle Pick Mighty Good Muscles. Guy Show in Raleigh in 2019. 2019. And you've had the car for, for a little bit. Um, I probably had it a little over five, well, about four years done. So I'm going to walk around and I'll ask you some questions. Sure. So when did you start on it, you think? It, I built it in about a year and a half. That's not bad. No, it, it went That's pretty quick. It went pretty quick. And uh, what was the most challenging part of it, do you think? Uh, probably building the firewall and full pants. <laughs> How much setback are you? How much do you have to go back in the... From stock, well, you can see... Because it looks like you had to push back. Yeah, so this was stock, and I had to move... It's probably Man, that 10, like... 10, 12 yeah. inches, something like that. It probably balances pretty well, though. It does. It does. It just... Yeah. It hits the road incredibly good. What are you running for brakes? Will Wood. Will Wood. Will Wood. Yeah. Will Wood front and rear. Any complaints? Nope. No. Nope. Not at all. They're manual. So I, sort I of prefer like a race manual. Car. I prefer manual, honestly. Sort of like a race car. But... So I assume you, I assume you've ran it. No, not really. No. no. Never run on track with it. No. No. I don't blame you. A, you break stuff. <laughs> it's more of a uh, like we did the tail of the dragon with it. That was just awesome. It's yeah. not, more, not really a straight line car, it's more of a pro tour car. See, and you look at it, and that's what immediately jumps in my head is that it's that it's a straight liner until you really kind of look at the rest of it. There's mm -hmm. more tire under the front than you see, uh, and there's a lot more tire under the back than you yeah. see. And boy, it yeah. is just beautiful straight. I just love this. I think it's gorgeous. You've done a fantastic job. Thank you. Man, I really appreciate you letting me look at it. And, uh, and uh, I really appreciate you bringing it out here. This is you? Yep, Johnson's Horsepower Garage. Okay. I'm wandering a lot and I'm looking for the different. Um, late model stuff really doesn't trip my trigger too much. So uh, I'm looking for different and in and modified it at the same time. So tell me a little bit about what I'm looking at. Here. So here is a 73 D100. Um, we did a 5.7 with a Magnuson supercharger, adapted okay. to a 4L80 trans, uh, American powertrain with the drive shaft, uh, uh, so bare brakes, Budnick wheels, uh, truck made good power. It's a fun pro street cruiser. Uh, Made 525 horse and just over 704 pounds of torque on eight pounds of boost on pump gas. Um, it was built in our shop. We didn't paint the truck, uh, but we did take care of all the drive line plumbing and wiring. Man, it is pretty. What year is this again? 73. Nice. So how long do you think that took? Build the truck? Yes, sir. Within a year. Whose dash is that? Um, so the gauges are all classic instrument. If I'm not mistaken, it's That's a nice. I like classic it. dash, but it could be wrong on that. How about the column? You know, uh, those the column okay. Yeah, because you know, Chrysler tilt columns are oddly rare. Yeah. I don't know why that is, but okay. I really like it. So do we have to do a lot of body work on it or did you, you said so you didn't do the So prior to me doing the drivetrain, the body work and everything was done. Um, the truck was pretty straight though before it did get painted. Man, it is straight. It's so pretty. So how long's your shop been, how long's your shop been working now? So almost three years now. Three years? Yep. What's your favorite thing you put out so far? Uh, and is it here? Uh, Sorry. 
Is it your? This is probably one of my favorite for now, but the 91 D150 next to it is uh, hard to beat as well, too. My brother's got and that was actually built by my understudy, so that was one of his first builds at 20 years old. So That's awesome. Is so it hard to let go of him? Uh, it's just got to... Uh, yeah, he's not, yeah. <laughs> the guy we built for, he doesn't really let go, no. It's after, our boss. After you do, after you do this, uh, I can't imagine it'd be easy to let this go. No, no. And it's just a fun driving truck. I mean, you can get in this truck go anywhere. Yeah. That's the part I like. Wait, whose software are you running on? Holly. Okay. Yep. All Holly Performance. Um, Arrington uh, Performance built the engine. Uh -huh. Titech yeah. Performance out of Lewisburg. Uh, they did all of our tuning on it. So how was the Holly stuff to work with? And I'm awesome. not being paid by them. I'm just curious. No, it's awesome. There's a uh, lot of people out there that are going to do something similar to that. Maybe even myself included. I don't he know. Found all, all the Gen 3 Hemi swap stuff has been, been really, really, really nice that I've used. Um, everything from the headers to engine mounts. Um, to the Terminator X Max, and then we're using the X Max to control the 4L80 trans as well too. Would you do it again? Oh yeah, in a heartbeat. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Any Gen 3 Hemi platform, Hellcat, 5761, any of them. Yeah. You're killing me, man. I'm going with a Magnum swap just out of necessity right now, and I looked at the uh, 57 stuff and think, ah, I think I'll wait. But they're it, uh, pretty common. They're everywhere. And if you they're can everywhere, and I mean, if you run the Terminator, I mean. You can do boost, you can be in A, I mean, whatever. You're you're limited to you and your budget, you know what I'm saying? So, well, I love the truck and I really appreciate you letting me look at it. Yeah, I appreciate your time. Man, I saw you beating on this thing yesterday like it owed you money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this thing is crazy on the fast. daily, man. Crazy fast. <laughs> Love watching you. it yesterday. I appreciate it. Was it. Awesome. I really hope it's as much fun to drive as it is to watch. It, it's funner. It really is. <laughs> I saw you got the tire counts the flash marks over there. I caught that. That's great. And I believe it. I yeah. think it might be a hair light, honestly. Yeah. After watching you yesterday, I think you're light, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> You know, when I have my drag radials on on a prep track, 
it'll hook right up and then I'll do an 11, 8, 9, 8, 9, 10. 11, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. How does it, how does it feel? Great. Solid yeah. straight. It handles great all the way up to 130 and then it starts taking flight. 130? Yeah. Yeah. You, way was grandes, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where your transaxles are? Yeah, yeah. So then I just. Well, then your aftermarket stuff's everywhere. Oh yeah, everywhere. That's everything fantastic. Is, everything is stock GM. Yeah. It's, it's running a, a 2009 Chevy computer with the transmission and the and the uh, engine management. Like every, everything is. I can go buy it off the shelf. The only thing I can is my two CD shelves. You know. Yeah, but there's. That's not hard to find. No. Yeah. So, Alberta? Yeah. Nice. Drove it down. You drove this from Alberta? Yeah, 2,400 miles to get to Atlanta. That's yours? Yeah. It's awesome. Thank you, so man. awesome. Appreciate it. Yeah. Well, it'd have to ride well if you drove it, it that far. It, it rides great. But I just wish it had air conditioning. Oh, yeah. I got all the parts. I just didn't have the hope to get it in right before. That was me this year. And last year... You would have wished you had it. Yeah. Yeah, last year I heard it was super hot, but when I looked at the weather this year, I was like, no, I'm going to be all right. Now. Same. Be all right. Same. Man, I love it. I think it's really cool. Thank you. I, I think that's cool. That. I really do.
All right, so first of all, I'm nobody. I got a, I got a, we got a small YouTube channel that we do this kind of stuff with, and I think the people are infinitely more interesting than the cars most of the time. But so last time I saw you guys, <laughs> last time I saw you guys, they were picking chunks of this transmission out of yes. the floor of the dyno. Yes. And these pieces were laying on the floor in front of the dyno, and I thought they were wheel chocks that the dyno was using to block the cars in. I did not realize they were yeah, parts of this car. car. Yep, yep. So I walk up and I'm like, oh, okay, that's, and, and I thought, well, he's, he's done something to it. It's not running, mm -hmm. and you're pushing it off. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize until they were ch pulling chunks out of the floor. You'd broken it badly. Yeah. So, so. Uh, oh my gosh, he was the big talk in the whole place. He but... sure was. Now, tell me what I'm looking at here. Which pieces did, did we, uh... <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna make a mess, but I don't care. That's hey, you've already made a mess. You know what happened? That's I told nice. my wife I got to do something off the wall. Well, you did. To get on. <laughs> I didn't let the plan to do this much. Off the wall, the floor, the floor pans of the car. <laughs> yeah. uh, what I didn't see, I didn't see it happen. So I didn't see you do it. I walked up right after he it happened. He saw they were laying on the ground, thought they were stars. I thought those were, wheels. I thought they were, they, they had you chalk onto the dyno with those. No. I didn't realize those were yours. These are my parts. So tell me a little bit about uh, your car, first of all, and who you are. Car, I'm Dave Foslett, my and, wife Sue. And where are you guys from? Altoona, Pennsylvania. And where were you yesterday? Yesterday, yeah. I was at Atlanta Motor Speedway on a dyno. On a dyno that's here today. I've heard it several times. And I was up to 6,200 RPM when the rear universal joint blew. Okay, okay. Took out the drive shaft. Um, that's what's left of it. Yeah. The tail shaft of the transmission. Yeah, yeah okay. And we uh, have uh, a new governor governor and the transmission's gone okay so was your transmission affected or is it just the bolt-on stuff backwards of it the back end of it and okay the governor. well then you got I pretty lost. lucky i think well, you yeah. did pretty good really yeah, for a catastrophic failure i think you should count your lucky stars you didn't break i had more. a lot of people and i have to make phone calls i have numbers and stuff everywhere to so you were mentioning a family's name yes uh, Mr. Fowler. Mr. The Fowlers. And the they Fowler, did. They did Mr. a lot Fowler for you. Mr. Fowler and his two sons, Hal and Greg. Okay. They yeah, because they came up. I had nowhere to turn. I didn't even know what I was going to do. And they said, "I have a drive shaft that'll probably fit it." His father brought a roll back in. They took me to their home. They went into their <laughs> nice. salvage yard, found a drive shaft. That would fit. Okay. Making sure it's still rolling. And they, they found. Uh, put me on their lift. They assessed the damages, and he had a transmission built for a car of his, and he took the parts from his transmission to get me home. They're and such a wonderful family. You just can't imagine. I can't. That's fantastic, and I those just, I just can't thank, can't thank them enough. You know, the car the cars They're are why everybody's here, but the people are also pretty cool. I like yep. coming back and meeting people. Oh so. yeah. So, and, uh, uh, so is this a, your first year? This is my first year. <laughs> uh, well, welcome to Power it's Tour. A, it's a bucket list item. <laughs> yeah. And if it killed me, I was going to make this trip. I I get learned it. a very valuable lesson when my wife says something you should listen. Well, she says, but wait. what a great experience, she says, wait right? Till further on and have it done later. Yeah, well, okay. But well, we, we had, had a good time. Yep, we had a late start today wait because. Till closer to home. And you're here. <laughs> I'm here. And you're here. Yep. I'm man, here. I was really hoping, I was worried about it. A friend I'm traveling with, we had that conversation like, man, I hope the support continues for him because. Stop to stamped. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I said, I hope, the, I hope the support continues for him because it's a rolling base of people. Oh, yeah. And yeah. while there's great people there, a lot of people are moving on. Yeah. So I was really worried about that. Are local from Griffin. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, man, I'm really glad to see you here. I don't want to take up any more of your time. Uh, Thank you. I'll see you on the next stop. Okay. <laughs>